Um, but anyway, I always get on track before the game ends. And here we go. We got uh, perks. Now look at this. Optic Ray right here is poised two perk greed cards in this class. <laughs> He's running hardline and lightweight perk one greed. He's running Dead Silence and Extreme Conditioning. That's Perk 3 Greed. That is a pretty interesting class combination for Domination. Yeah, that's absolutely amazing, actually. Um, he's got, I've, I, that's actually maybe, a, that might be the first time I've seen somebody stack that many perks using this system, you know? And it's, it, it's what, five perks total here? Five perks total here, but he's had to make some significant trade-offs, Astro, because he's not running any equipment. Look down there on the lower right of his HUD. Absolutely. And he doesn't, looks like he's not even running a secondary weapon right now, so you can make these trade-offs in Black Ops multiplayer. Yeah, and look at him. He's got a, I'm absolutely loving this by Ray from Optic Gaming. He's got uh, Hardline and Lightweight in Perk 1, Hardwired. Dead Silence Extreme Conditioning. I'm going to spit it all out for the fans out here. Uh, he's got the laser sight attachment on his weapon, and that's about it, right? Well, he seems to, not, seems to be working for him. Yeah. He's just picking up, picking up this uh, Hunter Killer drone. He throws that thing out. Now it's seeking a target right now. You can see it on the map. There it goes. Put the thing down, plus 15. <laughs> Absolutely awesome right there. And you can defend against that. If you have the flag jacket, you can defend against that. Looks like one of the enemies was going straight for the B flag in that Hunter Killer drone. Uh, seeked out that enemy and just took him out before you get on the flag. So it's pretty awesome score streak right there. A lot and of fun play here. And it's low level. So a uh, pretty cool deal there as the Americans and North Americans are in the lead. 28 to 17, four minutes and 30 seconds left to go that now. Looks like the SEALs team has been locking down B and C for quite some time now and making them hold A and push out. You can tell right here by looking at the top of your screen, you. you'll see the SEAL BC right under there and A under the opposition. Absolutely. So now we're, we're on board with Merck. And uh, Merck is running into a ton of players. And he's sitting over here near us. And we can just hear him just go, oh, a little overwhelmed. There's so many European players right there. Oh, uh, Merck that out with the ballista iron sights. The snipers, you guys owe me for this gun. I'm okay, telling well, you right now. Let's, uh, <laughs> let's actually uh, stay on board with Merck. Let's and see. let's see if he's going to run into anybody here. Looks like he is. Up, no, yep. no good for hair. No, taken out by Swanee big well, time. The ballista is a very precision weapon, right? It's a bolt action, and uh, it's a sniper. But you, when you have the iron sights on, you really have to kind of watch yourself. It looks like Merck is learning from that now, and he's going to try and do that. <laughs> <laughs> I give Merck credit for that, but he's not having much luck so far. Yeah, and now it looks like he spots another player. He takes a shot there. Now you actually see the trails on the sniper rifles as well. Uh, what's up with that? Why don't you talk a little bit about that? Because that's going to be, there's so many snipers out there, and now you see a bullet trail. That's the most badass thing, man. Why don't it's, you tell us a little bit about it? Yeah, it was something that uh, our combat designer, Tony Flamer, had in store. He showed it to us one day. We thought it was absolutely excellent. Just an interesting way to see where those snipers are shooting from. Yeah, it's really cool. You're able to see, uh, you know, especially it's, it's it kind of, raises your skin and your, or the hair on your skin a little bit too when you see a shot come flying by your face. Yeah. So uh, I love that. And why don't we actually We're listen into the players spot. again because look at the score now. It uh, looks like the Europeans are in control of two flags and they just took the lead over the North Americans, 55 to 53. Let's listen in to the Europeans. Got him, got him, got him. They're going to be fine, they're going to be fine. Uh, one is on the right side, right side, right side. Yeah, one way uh, through the tunnel and comes to the tunnel, middle, straight to the middle. He's surrounding us, he's surrounding us. Right one shot, right one shot. One's gonna be, he's copy. Nice. Did you get him? Uh, one is at the tunnel, tunnel, tunnel. One guy, one on here, one on here. Where is an Alpha? Um, push your feet, push your seat. Come on, everyone. Uh, one guy, one behind you. Got him, got him. Right. Oh, wow. Yeah, nice. Now, that, that is some intense action right there. It uh, looks like the North Americans were able to kind of flip the spawns a little bit, but the Europeans picked that up immediately and were able to go right back and grab C. So they still have the lead here, Von 85 to 71 now. And Gunchy is sitting on those score streaks again. He, he kind of 
Likes to just play with the gun. Matt, Let's when you that. when you got a guy that's this much of a slayer, he's too busy to pull out those score streaks right now. He'll find right. him when, he's, when he needs him. Absolutely, Gunchy, one of the uh, best slayers uh, in the world in Call of Duty competitive. And you see that right there. What a shot that was uh, with the target finder. It was just amazing what he just did. Um, now he spots another one. He got that nice headshot. Somebody was barely sticking out over a, a ledge, and he managed to pick him off. 55 seconds left to go now. The Europeans still in the lead. Uh, they're up by 21 now, and Gunchy is on a tear, Vaughn. Yeah, this game is not completely over, though. I bet we're playing some round-based domination right now. So we're going to find out. Oh, yeah, absolutely. So why don't we talk about that? Let's find out if we set it up that way okay. in 35 seconds. Cool. Yeah, we'll know in 35 seconds. But uh, B and C still in control for the Europeans. They're on the Mercs faction. Again, like we said, we'll take a look at this overhead map. Gunsy's about to run into a couple players here from North America. Oh, beautiful. And why don't we go ahead and, and swap it up a little bit. Uh, let's see. Nice. Over here for the European side. He just catches a stun grenade right there. 15 seconds left to go. He gets smoked. What's he rocking? He's got the Scorpion. And seven seconds left now, so the Europeans are going to take this one. And there's your score. Oh now, yeah. now we're able to even go out and play another round if we'd like. We can do round-based domination. Absolutely. Round-based domination is a feature of the game, so it'll flip sides. And uh, that's something that competitive players really like to play. And we're going to make sure that they can do that when the game comes out on November 13th. Yeah, and that's awesome. So a lot of true competitive uh, game modes that the community has played. They, we're actually using some of those features here in Black Ops 2. Absolutely. And it looks like that's going to be it. David. Oh. 